My name is David Leftwich and I'm a Maximo Support Engineer. In this video I'm going to show you how to set the e-signature feature. and This allows you to require an electronic signature from users when they try to change certain fields. For this example we're going to use a Maximo 7.6 system and we're going to require a signature from users when they try to change the manufacturer of an asset. So we go to system configuration, platform configuration, database configuration and we need to find the object that we want to change so in this case it will be asset. So we open up the asset object and go to the attributes tab. Now we're going to filter and find the manufacturer attribute. So if we expand this and bring the screen down a bit we can see this e-signature enabled so we can tick this and save the object. Now we need to in the more actions section go to manage e-sig actions and in here we're going to filter again for assets and select assets and then in the bottom section we're going to filter again and we're going to search for save so here we have save asset and we're going to tick this so when an asset is saved if the manufacturer has been altered then an electronic signature will be required so we ok this now if we go back to the list view um, to implement this change we're going to need to apply configuration changes but first we'll need to manage admin mode. So we're going to turn admin mode on. Um, when you do this users will be logged out of the system. Uh, on this system I've got the number of minutes for users to log out as zero so that it will happen straight away. Normally you would have uh, a number of minutes in there so users are warned that they will be logged out. So we click on turn admin mode on and we need to put in our password and a reason for the change. And we can click on the refresh status button here. see if there's any further updates and we now have administration mode on for this server. So we can close that box. With administration mode on we can apply the configuration changes to the database. And we click on start configuring the database. Again password is needed. Again, we can click refresh status and we now have a completion message and completed without errors. So we can OK that. Um, now we need to turn admin mode off. So we click on the turn admin mode off again, a signature is required.
again we can click on the refresh status see if there's any new messages ok admin mode is now back off so users can log back into the system and we can close that box now if we go to the assets application uh, select a record scroll down and we'll find the manufacturer and it's currently set to Ansel so if we select a new value and then try to save the record we'll be prompted um, for an electronic signature So this is very similar to the signature that's required for admin mode and database configuration. And then the record has been saved. So in future any changes to the manufacturer of an asset will now require an electronic signature for that to take place. Uh, and this can be applied to most fields on most of the applications. Thank you for listening.